Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. As you know, at this channel, we are for law and order. We are against criminals, terrorists, and their supporters and their likes. And we are against thieving police officers too. About two weeks ago, I had, you know, did a video um, in which I, you know, a police um, has stated that. Uh, is Owen Ellington, the most corrupt police commissioner of police. You know, I've received um, several messages from police officers um, who have intimate knowledge of him. And, you know, some, you know, some are willing to go on the record and speak and just give you, you know, brief briefings about um, what happened. One of them, um, Peter, price by losing his job he reported corrupt police officers to the commissioner of police and in return he's the one that end up on the chopping block yes you know he was framed by the police department so the reason why you know the corruption in jamaica is so rife is that um it's you know power protecting powerful people and that's why the corruption is so rampant in Jamaica. So I wanted to listen to this police officer, one of the most honest and most ethical police officer. You listen and you decide. And when you No, um, there is absolutely no question that Jamaica is a very corrupt place. Very, very corrupt. I, I absolutely believe you that all the other, most of not all the other government entities are as corrupt are you more corrupt than the JCF you know but I, I can't only speak about what I know I, I, I'm only assuming that these other places have, 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 have corrupted elements within them and I wouldn't be surprised if it's like I said it's more than the JCF so the fact that I mentioned the force and I've always said to bro that if we were able to deal with corruption in the JCF you know and bring it down to tolerable levels we could deal with the corruption in the public service uh, in other years of the police service because the police is really who uh, prosecute persons you know the police is who investigate these cases and if the police forces corrupt the whole place have to be corrupt because they are going fall victim to corruption too so i always say if we can correct just at least correct uh, some of the corruption in the police force and have more people and lack of people over the money because police take up some of them backside you know can't see the street and police take up some of them damn people over the police the money see and just green, green and bear your pain you can't you can do it you know man remember when we buy in the first place we used to carry sardine and water got work you know come on water for a pipe water you know because one time we couldn't make drinks come we decided to make a family and a house you understand me but some people just love this big life and just love for you always have, have things and you know creative and planned and thing we used to carry a little thing of sardine and crackers got work I cook my food well, I cook my food and give me a little I'm a little short pan. We am little less girls, you know, but I'm not busy with me. I don't know if you can't say, you know, this is the backside, no, but as a younger man, you have a little pride, you know, and I'm about to say, why are you a brush? Something boom, and some sardine and crackers. But I host me a paper. You understand me? So, so, me and say, I mean, I have a little thing about the police, you know, because I did some work. I mean, see it firsthand. At every level in Iraq, this is about top more than I bother you. This is the hierarchy that structure than the domain I lower ranks. Me personally see that and know say up there was more corrupt than than than, than in the lower ranks. Are you with me? As a matter of fact, sometimes when they see them a deal with corruption, sometimes when they hear them about, like for example, Ellington, when Ellington say about corruption, what do you do? A face card, damn face card that. Because what do you do? What do you do? Him look for some police to charge, just like how him charge, tried and acquitted and terminated in contract without, without any trial, without any court inquiry, without any order, without nothing. When just kick them out of their force, and, and no, him knows him not the power to do it as per the police service regulation of 1961. Him know so corruption that that me call him corrupt, but you know, if you do that as a police commissioner, you're damn corrupt. I mean, I'm going to be bones to tell you, a number of the persons who were terminated, they were, some couldn't afford a lawyer, so they still don't get by their work and they lose their bread. 
right? One of the next thing we know you saw a number of members, you also get them salary. You think say you do that? You man quiet. And then you go to say, boy, I'm terminate one hundred police this week. We told you terminate two hundred next last week. I'm gonna terminate some more next week. And every week you print the four salaries and get it in, in the four salaries print and sign and give it to the media. It was about him. It was about not clean up corruption. That when he was there telling the public that he might clean up corruption life was that in and of itself represented the ultimate corruption. You follow me? That was the mother of all corruption. So so when I talk about the police was I mean know the ins and outs of that one. Me personally know. You understand? A number of members who were terminated were either reinstated by by Carl Williams are are quill or reinstated some more. Other than them, them fall back, fell by the wayside. You understand? Them who them want to bring back, then get them back. Them friend, them, them, them who is your friend, they have vote, and then PMP friend, and get them back. If you are sure, man, you're not going to apply. If you are, if you are coming, you care back, I'm a PMP. And so the thing nasty. <laughs> and dirty. I'm more than likely, if I'm JP, commission, commission, any day. Well, we don't say that. Because it's a man who back in and not with no corruption and no foolishness. And that is why. I don't call nobody corrupt unless I have evidence. Even if I suspect they're corrupt. But if you can't call the name, because I know so I give information about corruption with two senior officers, Derek Shan and Ryland Salmon, who is the bodyguard, PJ Patterson and KD Knight. You understand? Know I give him information from them and tell me they can't just enter the video. Then they, they stand there and they told them to retire to rat it. So I can't call that name. I'm not afraid. Make you me. Listening to the learned detective telling us, my loyal viewers and subscribers, the inner workings of the police force and the persons who are involved in corruption in the police force and were lauded as ethical, honest, decent, and morally inclined police officers, but were nothing but charlatans and fraud and thieves. And these people are involved in criminal activities in the police force and uses their office as a way to protect themselves, to insulate themselves from criminal charges. The police officer reported two senior police officers to the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Owen Ellington. And in return, instead of Mr. Ellington sending investigators to investigate the matter, Mr. Owen Ellington sent the Calvary at the detective led by the late superintendent Clooney and the rest is history with that policeman. Yes, he was arrested and charged with all kind of nonsense. Yes, they did come at him with everything. Eventually he was sidelined by the commissioner of police, Mr. Owen Ellington, because he, the detective, was labeled a traitor and an informer. No, on God's earth, a police officer, a detective, is witnessing corruption, criminality in the police force and reported to the person who's at the top of the police force. And instead of acting on the information, you retaliated against a police officer? Then this is a criminal organization. It's not a police force. It is being um, led by people who are police officer with criminal's intention and that is so sad an informer now you see why corruption is so rife in the police force and the Jamaican society they are powerful people who are benefiting from the corruption financially and escaping criminal accountability because of who they know the commissioner of police Mr. Owen Ellington protected two senior police officers namely as said by the learned detective Derek Shan and Ryland Sam Saman and punished the whistleblower who thought that he was opening up the door and exposing corruption in the police force and doing an honorable thing for Jamaica instead the commissioner of police threw him under the bus let me be clear, hear about the former Commissioner of Police, Mr. Owen Ellington. Suppose he, Mr. Ellington, was in America, the United States of America, where I am living, 
having been arrested and charged with fraud, which is a form of dishonesty, although he was acquitted, exonerated by the court, by technicality. In that case, he could not get a job as a CEO of a security company, I mean a security guard company in America. Once you are corrupt, then they will look then they will look after you in Jamaica and make sure you are promoted. And that is what happened in Mr. Ellington's case, based on what this police officer is saying. They look out for their corrupt friends. And they will look after and make sure that you are promoted to the top with the expectation of cleaning out cleaning the force of corruption when you are leading the biggest corruption in the police force. Mr. Ellington is accused of by a former police officer who used to station in Area 1 Division of Rape. Let me repeat. A police officer, woman police officer who used to station in Area 1 Division is accusing Mr. Owen Ellington of rape, trying to rape her. Yes, in decent assault, in which, yes, and I said rape, which occurred in St. Mary after a Domino tournament. And to this day, she is still traumatized from the incident because the police woman said that Owen Ellington affectionately called O.E. think that because he is brilliant, Every policewoman wanted to sleep with him because they see him as a rising star in the police force. Yes, I knew of a detective by the name of Carl Morrison and a friend of Owen Ellington, the former commissioner of police, who was arrested and charged with corruption for collecting over $100,000 in cash at St. Catherine Soul Police Station to help a man he arrested and charged with murder to be free by the court. He, Detective Sergeant Carl Morrison, was arrested, red-handed, collecting the money. He was arrested and charged, and the court freed him due to the witness not turning up for the trial. And Mr. Owen Ellington allowed him to resume until he retires. On the contrary, you have another Detective Sergeant, Dennis Arters who was stationed at St. Catherine North, which is Spanish Town Police Station. He did the same thing, collected money in a murder case, and he was caught red-handed. He was kicked out of the force by Mr. Owen Ellington, which showed that connection is everything in Jamaica, in the police force. So one man get kicked out for, doing, for committing a crime. He was acquitted by the court, and the other was reinstated and allowed to retire from the police force. So it's just that friends in high places is who you know. I am going to tell you I have three reasons why Mr. Co um, Ellington was fired as the commissioner of police. I am not going to tell you that he is the most corrupt police commissioner ever. I will I will you know delve in that later. One, the reason why he was fired, and it was because before he was appointed as Commissioner of Police, the United States Ambassador, the United States Ambassador in Jamaica, the U.S. Embassy, they did not, they did not support the appointment of Mr. Ellington because they said that he was a corrupt police officer. I don't know if you guys had seen the WikiLeaks documents or anything like that, that shows that. They, because they have known it from the extradition of Lieber Ramcharan. So let me tell you now, his relationship with Lieber Ramcharan, that's the man designated by former President George W. Bush as a drug kingpin because of his inter interference in the JLP leadership between the late Edward Siaga and Bruce Golden. So that is one of the reasons why he was fired, Ellington, because of his relationship with Lieber Ramcharan. And I'll tell you later about that relationship. His brother, former detective, schoolboy Richie. Most of you know his current name, so I don't want to even because he's in prison in the United States. Three, 
is respond to the anti-gay march at half a tree by the church. I'll give you guys the relevant information at a later date and time. Thanks for watching the Jamaica Young Police channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, that's it. Please consider subscribing. Click the bell and select all so that whenever we release a video here at the Jamaica Young Police channel, you are the first person to get a notification. Like the video so that others can see it. Share the video. And most of all, comment. There's a link in the group, a WhatsApp link for the group, for members of the group to join the WhatsApp group so you can communicate with others. My advice to you if you're about to do that, remove your profile photograph and do not use your current name. Use an alias because the group is not screen and it's not a paid group. It's not paid, although it's WhatsApp. And the telephone number is not no Google number or anything like that. So have yourself a beautiful day and thanks for watching the Jamaica Young Police Channel. And Jamaica Young Police Channel.